Welcome back to Pentagram Prime. Uh, today's episode will be the summation from 1 to infinity for sine of 2n divided by n squared, and we will be ter determining if it is convergent, conditionally convergent, or divergent. Uh, shout out to the person who wrote the textbook that I got the problem from, uh, Calculus Early Transcendentals, 4th edition by James Stewart. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the absolute value of the terms in the summation, and um, upon doing that, we find that um, based on the definitions of absolute convergence, um, if this, uh, the summation of sine of 2n over n squared with absolute values is convergent, then the equivalent summation with absolute, uh, without the absolute values is considered to be absolutely convergent. And I drop back and forth between uh, cursive and regular occasionally, so apologies in advance. So um, we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the summation with the absolute value signs, and we're going to work with that for a bit. Um, so right now we want to ask the same question originally: Is it convergent, conditionally convergent, or divergent? Well, one of the first things we notice is that only the top is going to uh, vary within the absolute value of um, is going to vary in terms of the sign. You know, it's it's going to uh, go back and forth plus or minus. Whereas uh, the bottom here, n squared, we're only dealing with positive values of n, so that's going to be positive no matter what. Um, <clears throat> looking at the uh, sign of the absolute value, the sign of two n we find that it's going to be less than or equal to 1 for all n, no matter what. Um, and side note here, um, a summation involving sine of 2n is not necessarily an alternating series. I mean, it is varying uh, across the, uh, um, you know, it goes across zero, it goes from plus to minus. However, it doesn't do so with any real it does so periodically, but it's not doing so in a manner that um, we can, uh, it's not varying with each uh, iteration of n. How about that? Yeah. Don't want to want to make sure I don't say anything that isn't absolutely true. So, um, so its absolute value is less than, less than or equal to 1. Um, so what we can do is we divide both sides by n squared. And uh, now we have a statement that shows that 1 over n squared is greater than or equal to sine of 2n. I hope this uh, part over here looks a little bit familiar to some of you uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to use the comparison test for two different series. Um, if b sub n is convergent and the terms uh, a sub n are less than or equal to the terms b sub n for all n, then a sub n is also convergent. So, um, oh, and caveat, both, uh, <clears throat> both summations have to have positive terms, which we do. Um, so we know that, uh, hopefully you guys know that uh, 1 over n squared uh, summed from 1 to infinity is uh, convergent. Uh, it's actually equal to pi squared over 6. So um, we combine that with the knowledge that uh, 1 over n squared is greater than or equal to sine of 2n over absolute value of sine of 2n over n squared. And of course, this equals this. So uh, by way of the comparison test, we can show that the absolute value of sine of 2n over n squared from 1 to infinity is convergent. <clears throat> And since that is convergent, we'll flip flop back here a little bit. This is convergent, meaning this is absolutely convergent. That's all, folks. Um, hope you had a good time. This is Pentagram Prime signing off.